Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are diving into another fascinating plant response, the Nastic response. Unlike tropic responses that depend on the direction of a stimulus, Nastic movements are triggered by the stimulus itself, regardless of where it comes from. Let us take a closer look at how plants react to touch, temperature, and light in surprising ways. Nastic responses are non-directional movements in plants triggered by external stimuli, where the movement does not depend on the direction from which the stimulus comes. Unlike tropic responses, which are directional and often involve growth towards or away from a stimulus, nastic movements are typically rapid, reversible, and independent of stimulus direction. Nastic responses are typically rapid and reversible are most often seen in certain specialized plants or plant parts. Let us take a closer look at how plants react to touch, temperature, and light in surprising ways. 1. Thigmonasty Thigmonisti, also known as seismonisti, is a type of nastic response triggered by mechanical stimuli such as touch vibration, or shock. This response often results in rapid movement and serves as a defense mechanism in some plants. A well-known example is Mimosa pudica, commonly called the touch-me-not plant. When touched, it quickly folds its leaflets, an action that may deter herbivores. Another example is the Venus flytrap, which snaps shut when its sensitive trigger hairs are stimulated effectively capturing its prey. 2. Photonasty Photonasty is a type of nastic movement triggered by changes in light intensity. Regardless of the direction the light comes from, it is commonly observed in flowers that open and close in response to the presence or absence of light. For example, Tulip and crocus flowers open their petals during daylight and close them at night or on cloudy days. This response helps protect reproductive structures and conserve energy. 3. Thermonasty Thermonasty refers to plant movements that occur in response to changes in temperature. This type of response is typically seen in flowers that open or close, depending on the ambient temperature. For instance, the leaves of the rhododendron curl inward and droop during cold weather, which helps protect sensitive tissues from frost damage. Similarly, some crocus species bloom only when temperatures rise to a certain point. 4. Nictinaspi Nictinaspi is a rhythmic nastic movement that occurs in response to the onset of darkness or the daily light-dark cycle. A well-known example is Oxalis, whose leaves fold downward as evening approaches and reopen in the morning. This response may help reduce water loss and protect delicate parts during cooler nighttime conditions. 3. The mechanism underlying most nastic responses in plants involves complex physiological processes centered around changes in turgor pressure, the internal water pressure within plant cells. These changes occur primarily in specialized motor cells located in pool veni, which are swollen, joint-like structures typically found at the base of leaves or leaflets. Pool veni act as hinges that enable movement without growth and are especially prominent in plants that exhibit rapid movements, such as Mimosa pudica or various leguminous species. When a plant perceives an external stimulus, such as touch, light, temperature, or changes in humidity, it triggers a rapid signaling cascade within the affected tissues. This usually begins with the activation of ion channels in the membranes of motor cells. These channels open in response to the stimulus allowing positively charged potassium ions, along with other ions like chloride, to flow out of the cells. As a result of the ion efflux, 
the osmotic balance shifts, and water follows the ions out of the cells by osmosis. The loss of water leads to a decrease in turgor pressure inside the motor cells, causing them to become flaccid and shrink. This localized loss of rigidity results in the bending or folding of the leaf or petal, which is the visible nastic response. For example, in the case of Mimosa pudica, the leaflets fold inward and the entire leaf droops rapidly in response to touch. After the stimulus is removed or fades, active transport mechanisms begin to restore the original ion concentrations by pumping potassium and other ions back into the motor cells. When this occurs, water re-enters the cells by osmosis and their turgor pressure increases. The cells regain their original volume and firmness. This reversal of cell collapse allows the plant organ to return to its original position. The transmission of the stimulus from one part of the plant to another is facilitated by electrical signals, known as action potentials, which are somewhat analogous to nerve impulses in animals. These action potentials travel rapidly through plant tissues and coordinate the opening of ion channels across multiple cells, ensuring a synchronized response. Thanks for watching this video on plant responses. I hope it will benefit biology students worldwide. I'll see you soon with another science video. Until then, happy learning.